So I got a message from somebody asking me how did I make the Victoria Crater in Blender. So I don't really do tutorials, but I thought that maybe I can just make a very quick video and show my process in how I made this. It's very simple. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube which show similar processes, but I'm just showing specifically what I did for making this. So on Google, search for the image you want. Make sure it's very high resolution. Download the image. I'm using a software that's called JPEG to RAW because I want to get as much detail as I can and much information as I can from this image. So I'm using AI to kind of like fake the information. The reason I am doing this is because I want to use the Photoshop RAW program to be able to bring the shadows and highlights back. I'm hoping that this software allows me to kind of like fake that information so I can bring those back. In Photoshop, what I've done is basically increase the dynamic range by lowering the contrast and making the highlights and the shadows very close to each other. So the image is starting to look more and more gray. And then using the clone tool in Photoshop, I'll just basically got rid of all the shadows. Afterwards, after you've done that and you're happy with it, make your image grayscale and make sure you set your uh, channel to 32 bit and so if you imagine that the middle gray is basically flat ground, when you go towards white, you actually create like a hill or a mountain. And as you go darker towards the black, you end up creating holes. To make things easier, you should try to create masks. Using the lasso tool, you should get the edge of the crater and cut that. So later when you are going to be adding different colors for the height, you want to kind of have a sharp like fall off. After you have done that, what you need to do is you need to paint the outside of the crater middle gray. And then you want to kind of create a ramp going towards the beginning of the crater, which kind of goes up. So you want to make it a bit lighter, going higher towards white. And the crater itself, you want to kind of like make it black, but you want a gradient. Don't forget, after you made your gradient map, you want to blur it as much as you can until you can barely see any uh, details. You want to be as subtle as possible. The displacement modifier inside Blender can pick up all of that information. Going back to your original image, now you want to bring in the details. As you can see from this video, I have created multiple versions and I have mixed them together. Still following the rule where darker is deeper and whiter is like, um, brighter it is, is higher up. And then I brought in my original image where I made, made it very blurred and I multiplied that on top. Inside your blender, create a plane, same size as your image. So the thing you see here is actually incorrect. It needs to be a little bit more uh, wider and subdivide it. 10 times perhaps, and drop on top of it a subdivision modifier, which I haven't done here, but you should do. And then drop your displacement modifier. Make sure to set your coordinates to UV. After you bring it in, make sure to set your color space to non-color, and then set this strength as high as you can, and you get to see your crater being made. The actual crater itself is not that high detail, it's meant to be just background uh, setting. So I use some quicksol materials to set dress the front. 